Hey, what's up, guys? I'm carrying on straight where I was from last episode, just going to kill some imps to grab their beads so I can go and grab myself the amulet of accuracy. And I kind of just want to start off the episode by saying thank you to everyone who posted a comment saying that they like my videos and uh, the people that have subscribed. Uh, first three videos haven't got too many views yet, but the um, the support has been great in the comments, people saying that they like the videos. Uh, so thank you. And um, I've just been owned by those scorpions. I didn't think this through. And there are imps pretty much everywhere here. Um, I just kind of knew that from just walking past here. Uh, and just seeing loads of imps. But there's also a scorpion. So that is unfortunate. And um, also, hopefully, by the end of this episode, I'm going to try and get a full set of steel armor and a steel sword. Presuming that steel sword is actually better than my Reese's sword. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so, I know where all of the shops are that sell it, and I'm leveling up everything. Um, yeah, I know where all the shops are, and I've also. Ah, oh, wizard hat. Oh my god, I super badly need one of those. Good job. Right, yeah. I know where all the shops are that sell all of the all of the stuff that I need. And there's also a large amount of shops that sell Addy, up to Addy, um, armor and weapons. And they're all pretty easy to get to as well. So I'm going to have no trouble obtaining the full set of Addy, Myth, um, and there's even a shop. There's even a shop that sells rune skirt, rune chain, and a rune full helm. Um, I'm not too sure about the rune weapon or any of the shields just yet. I think there's a shop in Falador that sells shields, but I will pass that because I need to go to Falador to buy a steel chain today anyway. So no luck with these with these beads yet, even though this is only my second kill. Um, quite hoping to get them fairly quickly. Ah, oh, woo, another wizard hat. Yay, the excitement dies off once you've already got one and you don't really need another one. Um, and also, if anyone was thinking about doing this without using the Grand Exchange, just normally, as a normal series, I would seriously recommend it. It's in fact, I would say it's more fun than playing RuneScape normally. Because since they added in the Grand Exchange, you can kill a load of cows, walk straight up to the Grand Exchange, buy a full set of the best armor you can buy, incredibly cheap, and then just walk off. And then I could have probably, by this time, I could have easily gone and killed a lesser demon by now, uh, just buying all the stuff that I needed. But that would have been no fun at all, and it would have just been mindless training for quite a while. So that would be boring as hell, and I don't particularly want to do that. No fun for me, no fun for you guys. And I just reached combat level 9. Hmm, it's quite high, isn't it? 9 already. Right, so. I've still got low attacking and strength stats. Um, hope to fix that a bit later. A bucket of water. Well, everything is useful when you can't buy anything. Um, at least they've added in a lot of random shops recently. Um, like the milk seller that I saw first or second episode, I think it was second episode, walked past it when I was going to the mill uh, so that you could just walk up and instead of having to go and buy loads of buckets now I could just buy loads of milk because they sell it pretty cheap so if I wanted to you know do some cooking I could make some bread or something but I'll mostly be fishing for all my food uh, so when, so if I ever end up needing, you know, high-level food like tuna, which isn't really a high-level food, but 
you know, Knobster or something like that, instead of having to go and pay an incredibly large price for it at a shop which just happens to be just over there, there's some stuff to buy, I do believe. Um, it's raw fish, but I'd still need the cooking level for it. I do believe that some there is a shop that sells cooked food, but you have to pay an incredibly large amount, and I'm already going to be poor to start with without needing to then go and make myself even poorer by buying overpriced food which I'm just gonna eat up really quickly of course I'm not gonna be at shark level I probably never will be at shark level because it will take so long unless I cut the recording do 20 hours of fishing and then start the recording again I don't ever see me getting up to shark level ah oh, yellow bead that's one of the four beads that I need, which is quite useful. I actually don't, don't particularly want this Herald cape anymore, so I'm going to destroy it. Is there anything else I don't need? I need those bones in my inventory. Um, I lost, I lost where I was talking about. Oh yeah, buying food. Yeah, I don't want to pay too much for food. Also. I've been thinking about the skills that are going to be incredibly hard to train. Um, I was thinking prayer might be, but prayer is actually not going to be too difficult. Um, and that's just because after the Ghosts Ahoy quest, which is a member's quest, you can use the Ecto Fungus, and I think you get 400% bonus XP. It's, it's better than a player owned house, but it just takes a bit longer to get to but I'll be able to use that to train up to you know the necessary level of 43 really really easily just by killing a few handfuls of dragons or hill giants to get big bones um, and it is incredibly easy because you get hundreds of XP per bone if you're using dragon bones um, but crafting is going to be quite a tricky one because I'm gonna I am gonna have to kill every enemy that I collect hide from. So obviously I have to kill a ton of cows first and then tanimal which will cost a fair bit of money but not it's not too expensive and then I'll have a load of junk which I will just have to go and sell to a random shop. Um, I will probably actually make back the money and yeah I'll actually probably make quite a profit from making all the stuff myself. Oh I've run out of runes swap to the melee armor I don't, I don't need a hammer, I don't, I don't really need any of this stuff oh, pot, yay I can't just go and pick one of them up you know what, I'm going to train, you know, train attack first hopefully I'll get five attack or something uh, from killing these and then I'll just be able to go out and buy a sword and then just use that use my steel sword straight away. Ah oh, damn. Get out of here, snake. What are you doing? I'm trying to kill this. You did oh god. He's so tough. He's so much tougher. He's only three levels higher than them and he's owning me. Which leads me to think Where did I get all of it all of this iron armor? Where did I get the plate? Hmm. I do not remember. Is there a shop that sells plates? I don't think there is. There must be. Do you drop monkey bones if I'm not on a member's world? Monkey? Monkey bones might actually be a member's object so they won't drop it. Which would be a pain. Nope, monkey bones. Let's see, do we get a lot of XP for monkey bones? No, not really. Like five. Just more than normal bones. I'd say it was worth it. Worth that extra kill. Um I'm not sure if I mentioned herbalism. Herb law even. Being any Oh, it doesn't even give you the XP anymore, because it just says members skill. That's that's annoying. Um, that's going to be incredibly hard to train because I'm either going to need to farm herbs 
which I don't particularly see happening because of the difficulty to get to the farm in patches the easiest way is to use a teleport which I won't have um, or kill something which drops a large amount of uh, bone um, herbs like chaos droid druids I don't really know how to pronounce it um, druids yeah something like that um, and there is actually a ranar spawn which I don't believe would be too crowded now that all the bots have been killed love bot kill that was my favourite day ever though I wasn't actually playing when they did it I kinda quit because of all the botting and all the prices dropping which reminds me just the day before they did that I um, I had stopped playing but I still wait waiting for my membership to run down I am oh he's stuck over there is he yeah I am um, I was just about to buy enough bones I was gonna spend all my money on bones because the price was so cheap they were like two and a half K and um, I almost would have bought enough to put me to 92 prayer so I could have used soul split um, but no I decided oh no I'll wait I don't particularly want to train prayer right now and then the next day they killed all the bots and the price went up about a K and then the next day it went up again and now prayer is incredibly expensive again but I did I do still have about a thousand and something herbs expensive herbs it's Avento I think um, for making super super no extreme potions even because um, I was just training herb law and I've still got about a thousand of the herbs which I never used and the price of them has like doubled I believe I haven't checked but so I've made quite a lot of money because they cost me a good few mil to start so that's that's pretty good um, also I could do with another bead drop please Mr. Imp please please I'll give you a cookie. Oh. I don't particularly need bronze bolts either. Not right now, anyway. They can be obtained rather easily by the ranging shop in Barrack. So I will not be purchasing, I will not be picking up those. I need the inventory space. I really need these balls of wool, but I'm going to keep them anyway. You never know when a ball of wool might come in handy. And then I would have to end up going all out craziness and, you know, just general annoyance to go and pick up some some balls of wool. I'd have to go and unnecessarily shear some poor sheep, make them cold. I actually think wizard hats can be sold, sold for a fair price at a general store so I will be picking those up and I believe there's just a general store over there over in that direction uh, so I'll be able to go and pick up some stuff or sell some stuff as it were probably sell, sell first there's also a banana plantation over there I wonder if I can pick bananas and then sell them for anything hmm another ball of wool I don't need another one I've already got two Come on, goddamn imps. Come on. I need you to drop things. Um, also, I've been thinking about uh, rings, other armor to get. Um, Ring of Wealth, I'll be able to get at 55 or 50 um, crafting. I'll be able to make one as soon as I find a dragon stone. I might have already mentioned that. But uh, let's look through the other skills. What else will be incredibly difficult? Um, Slayer. I'll have to get on that straight away. Training Slayer from a low level is always the best thing to do. And Any Slayer monsters always help with summoning training because almost all of them drop quite good charms. Fire making is just going to be so annoying and pointless. And I'll have to decide between fletching and fire making whether to use my chop down logs on fletching or fire making um, 
Fletching will give a profit and fire making will give the necessary level for certain quests. Hmm. At least those mining and smithing they're pretty simple. You mine stuff then you smith it. There's nothing else you can do with that. Fish cooking and fishing they're the they're the same, you just do one and it trains the other. Rune crafting, I'll have to train that up if I wanna get certain runes. Nature runes will probably it's not too much of a high level to do nature runes, so that's okay. And any difficult runes to that don't really drop too often, I can make them on there. Construction is probably gonna be one of the worst because of the sheer amount of money that I'm gonna have to spend to buy planks. I'm actually sure if there's another way to train it that would be better for for someone who can't use the ground exchange. If um if you know of a better way to train construction that doesn't involve spending a large amount on planks, please let me know because I don't have very much money. I'm rather poor. Thieving is going to be a walk in the park. Just pickpocket people, steal from stools. Going to make quite a bit of money training that as well. Um, dungeoneering. I'm not going to do dungeoneering. Just straight up dungeoneering out. It's it's going to be so difficult. I think I've got enough stuff to make a bread dough. Yeah, I do. I got a bucket of water and a pot of flour. I can make some bread dough. If there's a range in this place, there's some lava, you could probably cook it over that. Oh, and thinking about it, I didn't really think about it, but underneath this, where I am right now, is where the lesser demons are. Oh, god. Oh my god. I'm going up, I'm leveling up and everything. What's going on? Cadaver berries. What was that? I got Constitution 12. I've reached the combat level 10 milestone um, and my strength then went to 5 okay so I'm combat level 10 now which is good anyway where was I? Dungeoneering yeah Dungeoneering is going to be out because of the severe boringness of me going through dungeon by dungeon ah oh, oh my god I can't believe I've just got a bead that I've already got what a pain. Man, I cannot believe that. Look, two yellow beads. Oh. What am I going to do with a second yellow bead? You know? I only need one of each. But no. They only want to drop yellows, do they? God damn you. Right. Summoning is going to be incredibly difficult and I'm gonna have to only use things which the secondary ingredient is easy to get like for instance if you're making granite lobsters I'll have to go and mine loads of granite but granite is fairly easy to mine and you can chisel it into the smaller pieces and it doesn't matter what sized piece you use, ah oh, red bead win um, so if you know anything about granite it comes in different sizes you can chisel it down uh, so that one will, will be the easiest to train if I just go mine five kilograms of granite every time you can actually take it to the summoning obelisk and just get up like five levels just by chiseling it all and then just keep summoning because all the things that you probably don't know what I'm talking about you might only if you've done quite a lot of summoning you know what I'm talking, what I'm talking about farming is going to be impossible without thieving I'm going to have to thieve all of the um, you know all of the little uh, what are they called? seeds? yeah I don't know why I couldn't think of seeds um, and then use them where, where is this one going? Yeah, I'm going to have to get them all you know plant them all um, a lot of them die if you don't pay the farmer to look after them or if you don't plant something in the middle so I'll have to plant something like how if you don't know how farming patches work if the, there's flowers in the middle 
and certain types of flowers protect certain types of other things growing around the outside. So, if for instance, you have, I think it's marigold protects, you know, like um, I think potatoes, which is the level one thing. So I have to get potato seeds. I know something that drops quite a lot of potato seeds. Cave crawlers, and they're only like level seven. They are members in a Slayer monster. They also drop quite a lot of good stuff there. Oh my god, the scorpion's coming over here. What, what does that say? So you just oh ashes. I thought it said fishes. I'm sat really far away from the screen. I can't really read it properly. What? Why did you? There you are. Come here, goddamn imp. Right. Now I need to think about all this good stuff. Let's combine these just afterwards because I presume that um a bread dough would be worth more than a bucket of water and a pot of flour when I sell it to this shop. Um so I'll make this into bread dough. Drop the buckets and the pots and the jugs and anything else I don't really need. Oh oh gee. Another Another red bead. I'm just wow, I'm overwhelmed by the generosity of these imps. That is so annoying. I've already got four bead drops, and if it was the correct bead, then I could have been out of here right now. But no. I have to re drop. I think these beads are actually worth like a K or something on the on the Grand Exchange. I wanna find out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they're worth quite a bit. I'm pretty sure you know, I've already got that in the tool belt. So I don't need that. Don't particularly need balls of wool. Even though I said that I would. But I, I don't really. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, um. I was going to say that I'll. And I need to re pick up my jug of water. Right. Mix those together. Make another bread dough. I can drop that and drop that. Yes. I remember I was going to going to value these for money worth. Nope. The price has gone severely down. I don't know why I checked all of them. I only need to check like two. Hmm. Should make something random in my inventory. Ah, oh, that's good. That looks nice. Have that on the bottom layer. Right, I just need oh is it black and a blue one now? It's taken a while to get it from these, although at least they're not at least they're not doing me any damage. I'm still training defense, I should be training attack. A wizard hat. Another wizard hat. It's a shame you can't put them all on together. You'd have a massive magic bonus. Although you would look like an idiot. I could do a training range actually as well. Thinking about it, like not right now, but it's going to come really badly in handy if I ever get to a oh, really high smithing level and then you can start smithing Addy bars. Because then I can go and kill Aviancies, which are like flying things in the God Wars dungeon, and they drop noted, noted Addy bars three at a time really commonly. Um, so not only are they amazing for money when you can trade, uh, great for this because they drop Addy bars which are really useful and then I can make Addy plates which I can high out or whatever gives the most profit by bar from high outing uh, probably legs or skirts oh, I think I'm pretty sure they're the same um, so yeah that will give magic XP as well which will, and that will give them money and money is always good because you can buy things. Thinking about it. I'm not actually going to need too much money. Because I've looked into it and you can't buy dragon anywhere. You can't buy dragon legs, you can't buy dragon skirt. You can't buy a helmet, can't buy a chain. There are no shops that sell that. Oh my god, another red bead. I'm overwhelmed with joy. You can't. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll have to buy all of the rune at the rune shop. Um, 
and then I will literally have to wait until I can I'm high enough level to go to it will have to be arrows after I've got all that rune stuff and get move straight from rune up to some of the best armor in the game which is barrows um, stats are about the same as bandos but there's no strength bonus or anything but the defense bonuses are amazing so and I doubt that I will but if I can get a full set of it the set effect bonuses of full barrows is amazing um, so that will come incredibly useful, especially Verex. Because um, I'm not exactly going to be able to get a whip unless until I've played for like a year. So it took me took me weeks of Slayer training to start with, probably a couple of months of Slayer training just to get up to high enough level to kill the Abbey Demons to start with, and I've only recently got it. It's really difficult. You have to do a lot of slayer tasks, you have to do hundreds. And that's hundreds of high level ones as well, not not hundreds of goblins. Hundreds of super high ones. So yeah. Also what else would be useful? Um I will expect eventually to, you know, go and solo next. But um Ah, you know. Gotta be professional like that. Of course, was there any doubt that I was ever gonna go and solo next? There wasn't. Everyone knew I was already gonna going to. Did I leave those ashes on the floor? If I did, I'm a very bad boy. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this episode, right. There has been a change in rules. I am now allowed I am allowed to take stuff that other people have dropped but nothing that would be incredibly useful um, like for instance if someone was to drop 10 mil in front of me I would not allow to be going just to pick up that 10 mil I would probably pick it up and give it away um, oh god no he's all right, okay scorpions they've walked away how lucky um, also if I can't you know like purposely go to places just to pick up other people's drops so I couldn't go to the wildy just to scavenge if you know what I mean I couldn't because you know there's always sharks and stuff left on the floor that is completely uh, picking up sharks and stuff like that that's against the rules because I have to get the sharks and whatever by myself and just picking them up from other people that have just bought them from the Grand Exchange would be cheating um, also there are a few other things that I can't really remember um, yeah so if someone dies in front of me I am allowed to take their stuff but only little things like if, they, if someone was to die in front of me and drop a full set of rune or some dragon legs or something I wouldn't be allowed to take those but if they dropped you know some trout or a few coins um, and I'm just there by accident that is allowed um, just because I was there just by accident didn't go there on purpose just to pick up that person's deathness if I see someone purposely killing themselves in front of me because they're such a big fan and they want to give me stuff I'm not allowed to take any of that um, that's pretty much it. I kind of make the rules up as I go along, but I'm not just going to say suddenly, oh, I'm allowed to go and buy stuff at the Grand Exchange. So there's not going to be any massive rules, just just little rules changed. Um, and I was also thinking about... Um, I can't remember now. Damn. It was something. It was something. It was good. It was something good. Um, I can't remember. I'm just gonna have to leave it. This quest has been a pain in the ass. Well, I've trained up quite a lot. Yeah. 
Is that... Oh, oh no, it's a, a potion. It's meant to be good for spots. Right. Okay. A potion. That acne. In RuneScape, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. I'll have to nip to the general store in just a second. Oh! The bad attack. Come on. Oh. God damn it, this is annoying as hell. It's times like this you want to rage towards the Grand Exchange. And buy. Buy the black and blue. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Don't, don't panic. I'm not going to cheat. I suppose this is just normal training. If, yeah. Needed to train anyway. Just getting up quite good prayer XP, so. Yeah. Can't really complain, I suppose. Um, I will be able to kill fairly high level things with stabbiness, though. Um, with 10 attack. Uh, in case you didn't know, attack is accuracy, strength is damage, and defense, obviously, is getting hit less. <gasps> Black bead! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Only one more to go. Right, I need to I need to kill them quickly because I found that if you kill something straight after it drops something that you want it drops something else that you want. So come on I need to find some because the last one just after I got the yellow bead I got the red bead and the black and blue ones they're a team. So there you are, imp. Get over here. You're going down. All the way down. Give me a blue bead. That will be the, the happiest day of my life if you do, Mr. Imp. After I've brutally murdered you. Please. Please give me what I want. Damn you. Damn you, imp. All I did was brutally murder him, and this is how he repays me. Ah. <sighs> oh, damn it. The world we live in today. Hmm. And I've got higher higher hit points. All this hit points training is, is incredibly useful. Um. Like superly, hit points is probably going to be the main thing that I need when killing the lesser demon, because it's just going to hit so high. At the moment, it would be able to easily kill me in two hits. Um, max hit of 79 I believe it might just go to 80 I believe yeah lesser demon max hit 79 so it would be able to mow me down especially with my low defense at the moment and um, I've also been thinking about how am I going to tackle it because I'm not allowed to safe spot it so I have to stand there and take the damage I'm most likely going to grab a full inventory of trout or something um, and it will have to be some sort, it will probably have to be melee because if I if I wear if I wear like my full set of melee protection armor um, even though demons are weak to magic um, I won't, I still won't be able to hit at all because the iron armor will be stopping me and it will just make me splash every time or whatever armor I'm wearing at, the mo at that point um, so yeah that will be it's going to be a tricky one I could I'm, I'm trying to think is there any mage armor there isn't any free to play mage armor but I'll probably be a member by then uh, is there any you can get full mystic I suppose but that that's not really too amazing I'm going to get owned by this Maybe it'd be a good thing. Maybe I should just run away. Get out of here. Get out of here, Scorpion. I'm fighting an imp now. There's nothing you can do. Oh god, he's coming through. He's coming through. Ah, there we go. You've been trapped, Scorpion. I could safe spot you from here and own you until you were dead. I don't know whether I would own him until he was alive. 
because... Hmm. Yeah. I, really, I should probably think things through before I say them in future. That made literally not very much sense. I'm gonna pray again, on. I need 13 for that. What was the first good thing? Let's see. Um, 37. Protection from magic. I could get 43 prayer and just pray against the whole fight. There's no rule against praying. Hmm. It would probably be quite easy as well. Although I'd probably have to kill a large amount of dragons to train up my prayer. Or hill giants. Hmm. It's quite conceivable that the method I'm thinking of would work. So, I probably won't use prayer, and if I do, I won't have any prayer potions, so my prayer will probably run out, so it'll only be able to protect me for half the fight, unless I turn it on and off continuously, in that really annoying way. Hmm. Yeah. No, get out of here, snake. No one wants you here. All you do is keep blocking me. You're blocking me from my friend. I just want to kill this imp. Let's use um, strength. Five, no, let's use attack. 5% increase. Oh yeah, I'm owning him so bad. Now that I've got that 5% increase in attack. Why are you walking all the way over here? God damn it. Come on, blue bead. An egg. An egg. God damn it. These people are so annoying. I'm only going to kill a few more. Um, and then I'll come back. Although, actually, thinking about it, that is probably the end of the episode, actually. It's been going on for quite a while. Um, Alright then, guys. Like, favourite, subscribe. And if you could also if you could tell any of your friends who maybe play RuneScape, like, RuneScape videos. Anyone who likes Rune Sharks videos, um, that would be really cool um, because it's super hard to get subscribers and views when you're just starting out as a new YouTuber. Uh, so if you like my videos, please, please do tell your friends. Thank you very much. Goodbye.